Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, May the 8th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, we celebrate today one of the most important days of the 20th century, Victory Europe Day. It was on this day 75 years ago that World War II ended, at least the European part of the war ended, when the German military delivered a surrender to General Eisenhower, who then, of course, contacted President Truman and Prime Minister Churchill, and then both men uh, addressed their countries and told them that the war in Europe uh, was over. Some interesting things about uh, this day, President Roosevelt, who had been, of course, president for much of the war, had passed away a few weeks before. Uh, so we now had a new president, President Truman. And Hitler, of course, uh, the man behind the Nazi machine, he had supposedly killed himself on the 30th of April. So two of the principles of the war were not around, uh, were not around anymore. But there were huge celebrations in London. Uh, I don't recall that there were huge celebrations in the United States, but maybe, maybe there were. Of course, World War II for most Americans was just getting started in the sense that we still had the conflict with Japan in the next four months from May of 1945 until August of 1945 were brutal for the United States in, in the Pacific. I mean, the cost of life and uh, the brutality of the conflict was unbelievable in the Pacific uh, during the next four months. But at least today, people had something to celebrate, and that was victory in Europe. Now, one of the interesting things, and we saw that today, if you had a chance to catch a little bit of that uh, you know, newsreel that they had with President Trump and the First Lady at the Monument in Washington, uh, one of the interesting things about celebrating this day is that there are fewer and fewer and fewer uh, veterans uh, from that day. Of course, you know, 75 years, most of those men were probably in their mid-20s, maybe early 20s at that time. So obviously, time has taken a tremendous toll on what we like to refer to as the greatest generation. And uh, there are still some around and some were willing to go today and appear with the president uh, at the uh, at the ceremony. So great day, one of the great days of, of the 20th century. And of course, we salute uh, the amazing people who fought that war and uh, the cost. I mean, that was a very costly war, something like 50 million people who died worldwide. It was unbelievable. And again, there were still a few more months to go because the war in Japan did not end until August, uh, I guess officially September. So happy Victory Europe Day. Uh, and if you have a veteran in your family from that war, please salute them today. This is uh, an amazing uh, an anniversary. Thank you for watching. Uh, we have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.